Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys another one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection videos. Uh, this is an, actually a collection I picked off, off of a friend uh, recently, and it's actually quite a cool one. Uh, happy that I did pick it up. Uh, this is a uh, pretty big Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Terminal collection. Uh, for those of you that are unaware, the Dual Terminal is a machine that was released in local card shops um, all over, I think, America and Canada, and also, obviously, Japan. Uh, during the time of Synchro and Xyz for Yu-Gi-Oh! It was a machine that basically dispensed a card, uh, and with it you could uh, play a virtual game uh, on the machine using said card as a card in your actual deck. And they released seven sets in total, and with the collection that I got here for you to see, I have the binder and a bunch of extras also laid out that just didn't fit in the binder that it came with. Um, sets one, two... Five, six, and seven. I don't think sets um, three and four were included with it. I didn't get them, obviously. But it was a massive collection, and I was just happy to, you know, come across it and take advantage of the opportunity because I'm a big fan of the Yu Gi Oh! Dual Terminal. Loved it ever since it came out. I have countless videos for you to see on my channel of me playing it. So if I just go through the collection, I'm hoping to also one day get it in order of all the cards that are in the collection and maybe even you know get every single dual terminal card for all the sets because I think it'd be a really cool collection to have just for this uh, old relic that is no longer with us at our locals but let's go ahead and go through the collection just to you know quickly show you some of the noteworthy cards uh, this is the set one for the dual terminal like I said the cards aren't in order I think it's like yeah 96 and 60 so I need to organize them uh, for their numbers which are 1 through 100 for every set so 700 cards in total but we have like stuff like Sapphire Pegasus, uh, Cyber Dragon, and for those of you that don't know the Dual Terminal, they have like this uh, foil rarity like Mosaic Rare from the Battle Packs. Uh, but definitely need to get a new binder as well. But like I said, we'll go ahead and go through it, show you guys all the cards. Karibo, Ojama Yellow, Detonate. It was just a mishmash of a bunch of random things and new cards that would later come out in the Hidden Arsenal as well uh, were included. We've got some X Sabers over here, Pashal, Palmero. That's an ultra-rare Wrath of Neos, which is really cool. Cards, like I said, that probably were already released, like obviously Big Piece Golem, Dark Resonator, Gaia, and Harpy Lady were already cards. But we got the cards like the Ice Barriers, which would later come out in Hidden Arsenal 1. That's what they did with the cards from the Dual Terminal 1, uh, like the Flame Bells, the Mist Valleys. All those would later get released officially for everyone, but the Dual Terminal is what they came out in first. Um, and like I said, there was just a random amount that made it really fun to play because you could either pull this card uh, out or you can get Magic Jammer from the machine. Made it a real, you know, treasure to play. Ryoku. And I think these are where the set two cards start. They introduce Naturia, Jirax, um, Worms. Set two. Um, for the pattern that's going on, obviously included cards that would be later included in Hidden Arsenal 2. Uh, the Naturia support, but you can see Selfon was in this set. I think I already passed Boombox in. Oh, nope, there it is, actually. Uh, Miss Valley Apex Avion is also really cool. Uh, Goblin Zombie, uh, 7 Complete. Never knew what you were going to get from the machine. They, the foil rarities were really nice, and they changed the texture every so often based on what the set was. Got a little bit of the set 7 mixed in here. And then this is also still set two. And yeah, we didn't have three and four with the collection, so I'll definitely have to, you know, find a way to get some of those. But this is where uh, set five starts, which had the Gem Knights, um, Gishkis, all that. And those were Hidden Arsenal 5, Armed Dragon level 10 is really cool, Galen Duo, or Jelen Duo, Karma Cut. But definitely couldn't pass this up. I ended up trading two Yu-Gi-Oh decks for the entire collection. So pretty good deal there. And then definitely worth. Because I am a big fan of the dual terminal. More Gishi cards. And they would even include random synchros at time as well. But I would love to get the full collection for you one day and just show you all seven sets at one go, you know, in order of all the cards as well. I think it'd be a great treat. And just like I said, just something to hold on to as well. 
But I think this is also set six, started around this point in the binder. Very nice. Gemini Pearl. All these were really, you know, cool. Because they would pop it out like a dispenser in the machine, if you haven't seen my videos. So knowing that you got, like, an Exceed monster coming out of the machine, like, really got you excited, like, when you'd open and pull an Ultra or Secret out of a booster pack. Gem Knights, the Quick Draw Synchrons, and the Volcanic Shells were definitely popular when I would get those. Um, advanced Ritual Art. That's actually it for the binder. And as for the rest of them, I couldn't fit. I just have them over um, here for you guys. Carpet. These are the Set 7 cards. To wrap it up, you can see number 39, Utopia, in the dual terminal pattern. Zirconia. Gishki Zeal Gigas, very nice. Uh, we got some over here, Tin Goldfish, M7, Pleiades, Luminite, and the Tin Archduke, and the Submersible Carry, Aeroshark, Raven, Mizuki. It was definitely an interesting collection. I think he got it off someone at Locals and then he traded it to me because he didn't want to try and have to move it all. I don't know if I'm going to move it. Like I said, I definitely want to try and collect all the dual car terminal cards if possible. But I thought I'd show it to you guys. It's definitely a treat. You know, you don't come across this every single day. I'll definitely try and, you know, organize the collections in a better book and just see what I'm missing for the set as well. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.